been trying to find you. I've got a letter for you. All right, I better get going. Fear not, come Dragon Orchard. I'm rather right. What is it? The alias is secured as a good opportunity that could significantly help the war effort. I'll let him explain. Yes, what is it? Yes, if we can pull this off, we may find fighting off the Dominion significantly easier. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what happened to Hammerfell at the end of the Great War? Well, after the signing of the White Gold Concordant, the Red Guards refused to follow the new guidelines, and the Empire was forced to release them. They have been an independent province ever since. Since then, the Red Guards have been very tight on their exports to the Empire. They've also been very reluctant to engage in political matters. Something about them not being comfortable negotiating with Thalmor puppets. A bit dramatic if you ask me, but they weren't totally wrong. Well, times have changed. The Empire is no longer under the control of the Thalmor. I've managed to secure a meeting with some diplomats from Hammerfell. Very prominent figures in the Red Guard leadership. We're going to meet with them and discuss what we can do about this Dominion threat together. Any questions? During the First War, when the Dominion swept through Cyrodiil, the Red Guards managed to hold them off at the border the entire war until the Dominion realized that they couldn't win and gave up. In 4E-180, the Second Treaty of Stross Mackay was signed, ordering the removal of all Dominion forces from within Hammerfell. They have as much reason to hate the Dominion as anyone else. Sure, they held them off from taking Hammerfell, but it wasn't without any losses. Lots of towns and villages on the southern border were destroyed by the Dominion as they advanced. The diplomats are traveling into Skyrim with a small convoy. They will cross the border into the Reach. The meeting will be held in Understone Keep at Markarth. The Red Guards were cautious about moving too far into the province, so Markarth will have to serve. I will be there as our representative. I want you to travel to the border to meet them and escort them to Markarth. I assume they will be bringing their own guards, but the threat of a Dominion ambush is too great. It would make me sleep better knowing you were there to protect them, and it would also serve as a kind opening gesture. Sending one of our greatest warriors to protect and escort them, that can't hurt. I also want you there, the talks. You've proved to be nothing but useful to us thus far. What is some conversation around the table over killing waves of Dominion soldiers, hmm? Something a bit more peaceful for once. So, are you ready? Excellent. If they stick to the plan, they should be crossing the border just south of Makarov. There's an orc stronghold in that area called Dushnik Yal. Head there, and you should find them around that area. So we're good to go. I'll head to Markarth, and you will find the convoy, and then escort them to Markarth.
Oh no, don't worry. I have my own guards. I'll be perfectly safe, I assure you. Thank you for offering, though. You're looking a little rough around the edges. You feeling all right? Hey, watch, watch it! By the code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. We won't kill you, Outlander, but we don't want you here. Remember that. Outlanders should mind their own business. Traveled all over Tamriel, and this is the first time I've gotten lost. I thought you, Alakir, were supposed to be the best. The best boy, not the best man. I suppose the map you brought. Hmm? Well, it is, seeing as we don't know where we are on it. Who knows where we are in relation to Markarth? I'm fairly sure it's southeast of us. Oh, you're fairly sure? How reassuring. Why use a map when we can go on your wild guesses? I hope you're better with a sword than with directions or God's help as if we are found. You there. Could you point us in the direction of the city of Markarth? 
I fear we've gotten quite lost. You have? Who are you? Who sent you? Ah, I've heard all about you. Been giving the Dominion quite a bit of trouble. Or so it said. So Sialius has sent his best to escort me. I'm flattered. I have the honor to be Kalors. My companion here is Jartad. This here is Malin, the commander of my guard. I trust you know the way to Markarth from here. So we are on the right path. The nine Sirius sent you. Perhaps we might have ended up halfway to Elsie. So tell me, why did Sialia send you? He has plenty of men, why waste one of his best walking us to Markarth? Indeed. Although I did say I was bringing my own card. I look here no less. What could possibly befall us that they cannot handle? No matter. Come, let us go. I want to reach the city as soon as possible. The Minion soldiers, they found us. What was it? Did you hear something? Please, someone do something.
the Jarl's confidence. So Need something? All right then. Still here. Something? Huh? I have a few very nice updates. Ah, gentlemen. Welcome to Skyrim. I trust you had a pleasant journey. That's one way of describing it. Oh, I apologize. Something happened on the road. I wasn't aware. Things are going well enough. Yes. We were ambushed by the minion soldiers. It would appear that they know of our presence in Skyrim. I see. That is unfortunate. I think I sent my friend here to escort you then. I'm sure we could have handled them on our own. But yes, I appreciate the gesture. Yes, well, shall we begin? Please, take a seat. My friends, may I say what an honor it is to have? Spare us your pleasantries, General. We don't want to remain here any longer than is necessary, especially with the Dominion onto us. Indeed. I assume you seek Hammerfell's aid with this war of yours? War of ours? If I may say so, I believe this war encompasses us all. Really? I don't see any Dominion soldiers in Hammerfell. Jartan is right, but we are here now. I suppose you have some proposals for us? Let us hear them then. Actually, I was thinking we could discuss terms mutually. There's no reason we cannot both come away from this meeting happy. Indeed. Very well, what do you want to discuss first then? Well, first of all, what kind of aid would you be prepared to give? Well, that depends on what we would receive in return. I've seen no reason thus far that we should help you. As we said, this is your war. Us helping you would only strain our relationship with the Aldmeri Dominion. What is it you want, then? Word has it that the Emperor has gone into hiding, and that the Elder Council are all either missing, dead, or captured. And the armies of the Imperial Legion are scattered and broken. Yes, what of it? I suppose that makes you the closest thing to a leader for the Empire right now. I, uh, I don't know about that. What is it you would have of me? It is simple. 
When the war is over, so long as the Empire survives, it will begin trading openly with Hammerfell again. As it did when Hammerfell was still a member. All borders will also be open to citizens of Hammerfell, as if they were citizens of the Empire. The only stipulation is that we are not part of the Empire. We will pay no taxes to Cyrodiil, nor supply men to or house the Imperial Legion. We will not answer to any Emperor. That is quite a demand. Hmm. What do you think? clearly have some wits about you. I'm glad to see it. Very well. I accept. Excellent. I'm sure this will benefit both of us. Anything else you had in mind? Well, if you want aid from us, the money for it has to come from somewhere. You want gold from us? After all, this business with the war is over, of course. It only seems fair to me. <sighs> and how much do you presume this will cost? I was thinking around the 800,000 mark. 800,000? Have you lost your mind? Do you plan on giving each of your men gold-plated armor or something? I never said it was all for paying for the aid. See the rest of it as commission. We are taking a big risk doing these negotiations, after all. If it should backfire, well, you know how it is. What do you think? Look, I don't want to either, but I don't think we have a choice. Fine, we'll pay. Very good. I believe I said 800,000. What do you think? How much should we give them? Only a hundred thousand? I'm not sure they'll take it, but it's worth a try. We are prepared to offer you one hundred thousand. One hundred thousand? Do you take us for fools? That's not nearly enough. That's our offer. Take it or leave it. If you are going to offer us so little, then I suppose we will leave it. So, now that all that business is out of the way, what would you have of us specifically? Whatever aid you can supply. The more, the better. I'm afraid you're gonna have to be more specific than that. The term aid covers a large amount of actions. We would be content with typical aid, soldiers and supplies, but I had something much more drastic in mind. And what is that exactly? You could declare war on the Aldemary Dominion. What? Are you... Have you gone totally insane, Sirius? You would have us declare war on them? Jartod is right. That is utter madness. Think about it. The Dominion are taking this war one province at a time. It may be that they can't take two on at once. You there. Speak some sense into this general of yours. We have signed a peace treaty with the Dominion. The second treaty of Stros Makaya works both ways. How do you think the Dominion would respond to us breaking it? She's right. The Dominion signed the White Gold Concordant, which was the peace treaty between the Empire and Dominion. They've shown how much that means to them. Do you still think they will respect your treaty? Hmm. I suppose they have shown a disregard for previous agreements. Think about it. Do you honestly think you are safe from the Dominion? You think they won't try and attack you eventually? They already tried during the First Great War, and they failed. I would hope they have learned their lesson. Indeed. We have already proved that Hammerfell will not fall so easily.
Help from the Empire? Hardly. It is true we had soldiers from the Legion at first, but after they were recalled back to Cyrodiil, we kept fighting and fighting. You should remember we only made peace with the Dominion over 20 years ago. So, now that everything is agreed upon, what would you be willing to provide us in terms of aid? Based on what you have offered us, we are willing to send you extra soldiers and supplies as you need them. Declaring war is totally out of the question, I'm afraid. But these supplies should help you well enough, and the soldiers will be able to replenish your ranks, as well as most of them. Very good. It'll do nicely. It is true that we are sorely in need of supplies of men. Don't worry. They will be put to good use. So it is agreed, then. The Empire will open its borders to trade and the citizens of Hammerfell without them being members. In return, Hammerfell will send supplies and fresh troops to aid our fight. That seems about right. Excellent. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. Yes, well, we must be off. We have some preparations to make. Of course. Safe journey, my friends. Well, that could have gone better, but I think we did well. I would have liked them to declare war, but the supplies and soldiers will help. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. It's back to it, I suppose. I need to get back to Windhelm and have Balfa update me on the situation. I don't like being away from the war room too long. As for you, just keep doing what you're doing, I suppose. When we need you again, I will write you, as usual. Off you go then, soldier. And well done today. Now here's a woman I'm glad to see. You're looking a rough around the edges. I've got a letter for you. All right, I'd better get going. Yes? Goodbye. There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll risk their lives.
gods be praised. You're looking a around the edges. You feeling all right? Someone do something!
mercy on you! You won't live to see tomorrow. Are you prepared to die? Let's get going. Somebody help! Been trying to find you. I've got a letter for you. So long. Let's get going. Let's get going. Honored companion. How can I assist you? Ah, oh, there you are. I wanted to speak to you about something. I recently received a letter from the head of the Skyrim branch of the Aldmeri Dominion. You can imagine my surprise at that. Well, as you are aware, they have struggled to gain a foothold here in Skyrim, and it appears that they have become desperate. I never imagined I would say these words, but they want to meet to discuss a truce. I'm not sure about that. The Dominion are many things, but they aren't stupid. They know when they are beaten. This seems like a last-ditch effort to maintain some dignity. I have no doubt they will spin the story differently in their territory, but as long as the war is over, I don't really care. 
I want you to attend the negotiations. The Dominion fear you. There are a few people in Tamriel who can claim that. You will lead the negotiations. I trust you to be able to hold your own and not give them any ground. They are coming to us for the negotiations, which means we are the ones with the bargaining power. What do you think? Good. The Dominion are hosting the negotiations at Fort Greenwall. Head there and meet the rest of our party. Remember, we are in charge of these negotiations. Don't give them any ground. Good luck, soldier. Oh, do you need something? The woman herself comes to greet me. I'm honored. Shall we begin? Indeed. Something?
precious forest, Elf. Gods. But the dragon has attacked the white man. Be careful.
Stop. What is it? Shame. Those bastards! Do they have no honor? You should go back to Windhaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Man. How could mere men bring down such a Best offense is a good defense. trust them. Under a peace banner as well. It was naive of me to think they would honor such an agreement. Well, all of those involved will surely burn in oblivion for all eternity now, if they weren't going to already. Well, if one positive can be taken from this, they have shown just how desperate they are. I am confident that this will all be over soon. We 
you just need to keep pushing. I will contact you when I need you again. Be careful out there, soldier. Now more than ever. They say the college has been snooping around so far. Been trying to find you. I've got a letter for you. All right, I better get going.
don't look so good. Are you feeling all right? Let's get going. It's all right. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Can I help you, sister? I'm rather busy. What is it? Yes, what is it? Watch your back, soldier. Watch your back. What is it? 